All right. Hello, internet, or um, whoever the hell is watching. This is Haji, and I'm going to attempt a let's play of Dot Flow. Um, and by attempt, I mean I'm probably going to embarrass myself a lot because I like to flail and get lost and forget where everything is. Um, I'm going to be getting all 25 effects. I'm going to try and get all of the events, but I've hardly gotten them in my first run. I've gotten a couple, but not like the other ones. And we're going to get all three endings. So let's start. This is Sabitsuki. She's our main lady. And this is a room. Like Matsuki, she's got a door that she won't go out. And a balcony. Her balcony's kind of gross, though. I mean, she's got blood coming, or some kind of rust coming out of that pipe, and whatever is going on with this. Um, and I also need to keep an eye on the time. I just forgot about that. Um, she's got TV nothing interesting on the telly and a game system I'm not gonna do the game system because I can't exit out of it and then I'd have to restart the whole game and I'm just not gonna do that right now she doesn't sleep like Monatsugi does the bed is your save save place and I've already got my two save files from my first run so let's add a third one and Instead of sleeping, she goes on the computer. Um, and this is her computer world. You start up here too, in her room again. And sometimes you'll get this, but sometimes you'll get the same thing that's in her, in her room, in the real world. And it's just kind of a little... You'll get used to that laugh. <laughs> get used to it, it'll show up a lot. Go through her door, and this is a nexus. And she doesn't have doors, but you can go left, right, up, or down, and that's it. And it doesn't seem like there's a lot, but each world kind of has a pathway into another world. And first, as for effects, we're gonna try and get the most useful ones first, or what I think are the most useful ones, which are just two. And then I'm gonna go for the most annoying ones, <laughs> and then I don't know where I'll go from there. But So as for useful, start off on the left, which I think this is called the phone, pole, phone line and pole world? I don't know. Anyway, the steel pipe is here, <laughs> and when in doubt, use the steel pipe. <laughs> it's her weapon, you don't really need it all that often, but because there's no really combat in this game, but it comes in handy. So after you get that, go to that little building area thing and go down the stairs. Keep going. Ignore the doors for now. This one's locked anyways. Keep going. There's nothing downstairs. We're gonna go down anyways. There's an eye. Maybe something happens with that later. Oh, like I said, when in doubt, use a steel pipe. Nothing. There's a blob. I think the orange thing on the wall is the Q. Uh, whatever that thing in Yumaniki was that rubbed the pole. That thing. Let's put away the steel pipe. We don't want to kill this thing.
So, I'm just keep going up this one. North path. I forget if there's any kaibutsu on this path, or if it's just... Uh, I don't, there's things in the bed. I mean, nothing comes out. Welcome to the 8-bit world. I've never played Earthbound or the Mother Games or whatever this is based off of, so... I don't know. Anyways, just follow the path. And look who have we have here. The broom is... very, very useful. Look how fast we go now! And while we're here, and we've still got a little bit of time, I'm gonna try and find something else. There's some sort of event here. Like, randomly there'll be a kaibutsu waiting for you. But he hasn't shown up for me before. Yes? Yes. I mean, since we're here, we might as well just get this. Follow the path. There's stuff down here, but it's useless. I mean, really useless. It'll transport you somewhere, but it's not where you want to go right now. You want to go here. Getting lost. <laughs> there are many stairs in this area. And many stairs mean. Uh. Oh, okay. So you, you want to go this way. I remember going this way. God, God damn it. And there you go. You got the television set. That's. 3 out of 25. Now, I've never really explored the rest of this, so I'm gonna keep going for a couple of minutes. And just see what's around. What? Oh, derp. I, I end up doing that a lot. <laughs> Oh, so I could have just gone that way. It would have been a lot faster. I see. I feel kind of dumb now. Oh, that's a dead end. Um, so yeah, so we got three effects now. Three out of 25. Next, I'm gonna get the cat effect and whatever, the psychedelic effect. And then after that, I'm gonna get the whistle and vis viscera, or however that's pronounced, because I hate getting those ones, so let's just get them out of the way. And... Then after that, I don't know. Whatever I damn feel, feel like getting. Anyways, so that's the first Let's Play of Dot Flow, and we'll continue next time.